Hello and welcome to the third uh, video in the series. This is the launch video or the flight video. Uh, this, in this video I will cover the bungee launch and the flight and my comments. So how did it go? How did it fly? Uh, was launching this, this wing easy or not? What issues did I come across? Uh, this video is a couple of sections. The first section after this is uh, the bungee launch through a third person view camera. So I got a camera and I put it right behind the bungee ramp and it shows you uh, how the plane took off from the ramp. The second section right after that is again the bungee launch but through a first person view directly from the FPV camera right here in the front. So just remember also that the all up weight for this bird was 1.8 kilogram using a 3800 4S battery. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, see the, the, the bungee launch video. Uh, and after that, we'll come back here and I'll have a couple of comments. And then basically the section after that is the flight video and my comments on that. So let's go ahead and see the bungee launch. Oh, that's way that's more than what he needs, believe me. Yeah. He'll be flying without needing a motor. Okay, so before we talk about the bungee launch, I wanted to say a big thank you to my friend Sonny. He's the guy on his knees wearing black, holding the airplane for me uh, when I was trying to bungee launch. I basically had uh, the ramp, but I didn't have any pedal system to, to, to launch it. So he basically stood behind the ramp and he held it with his hands. So thank you, Sonny. Uh, thank you very much for your help. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the bungee launch itself. So, uh, as you can see, the plane took off very smoothly and it climbed up very easily. Which means uh, my choice of motor, which is this 2216 race motor along with the 9x6 prop, was a good choice. It gave the plane enough power to take off. The other thing I want to mention uh, is that this is a 3D printed plane with no mention or no information, none whatsoever about where the CG is. So I had to resort to an online calculator. I've punched in, uh, you know, the dimensions and it gave me where the CG is. But I knew that this CG might turn up to be wrong. So the plane might be tail heavy or nose heavy. And for that specific reason, I did not take off uh, in manual mode. So as you know, I have a wing flight controller uh, the Matek F765 wing flight controller and I've loaded Arju plane on it and I made sure that during the launch I switched the flight mode to acro mode. The reason is acro mode would compensate for you know things like uh, a nose heavy plane or a tail heavy plane or a plane that is rolling to the left or to the right. This would make sure that during the launch I have the least amount of issues to deal with. And this is exactly what Acromode did. So as you can see, it took off very smoothly. It climbed up and then I put my goggles on. I, I took control and I started flying the airplane. And my choice or basically uh, using Acromode on takeoff proved to be the right decision because the moment I climbed up, uh, I went up to a safe you know, altitude and then I switched to manual mode. And when I switch to manual mode, and you will see that in the flight video coming next, the plane immediately nose down very aggressively, which means it was extremely uh, nose heavy. So uh, after that, I switched back to acro mode and I made sure that, you know, I flew around, I tested the airplane. It flew brilliantly with, uh, with acro mode enabled. 
uh, I really could not fly it with manual mode because I needed the assistance of the flight controller given that this plane was extremely nose heavy. So I flew around a little bit, <clears throat> I tested the airplane, it flew beautifully. And then I came around and I landed. And you will also see the landing in the in the next in the in the flight video. Uh, I landed and basically um, my plan was to move the CG back and then fly again, which I did. So during the first flight, you know, I tested the airplane, it took off. Now I move the CG back and I'm gonna go back to the field and I will, I mean with the CG uh, taken to the back and then I will test it again. And I will keep doing that until I get to the right CG. And then I will post what the correct CG is in the comments section. Um, so that's it uh, in terms of, of uh, this wing. I was really surprised uh, how nice it flew given the weight. So again, it's 1.8 kilogram with this 3800 battery for us. It flew really nice and uh, the wings provided ample lift. So I'm sure that during the next flight, uh, when I move the CG back and I have no more CG issues, it's going to basically fly even much, even better. And then I'll be able to do things with Ardu plane like auto tune and, you know, automatic trim. And I'll basically be setting up the airplane for, for even a better flight. So that's it, you know. Uh, you will see now the flight video uh, with my comments. Uh, enjoy the flight. Uh, towards the end, you will see the landing. Uh, any comments you have, please make sure to post post them in the comments section. Uh, if you like this video, if you like the information that I've presented to you, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you would like to support this channel, please consider buying your FPV gear from the online shop I will put in the description uh, below. Thank you again and enjoy the rest of the video. This is where I switch from acro mode to manual mode. Notice the very aggressive nose dive. You will see again now another very aggressive nose dive. It happened again when I switched from acro mode uh, to manual mode. Uh, and after that, I struggled to, to bring the plane up to a level uh, position. I pulled hard on the, on the elevator. And then when the plane leveled out, I, I switched back to acro mode. 